Hello, Pisces. I am here to do your May monthly reading. Um, thank you guys so much for the last one, like all the nice messages. And some of you were honest with like, you know, helping me with my situation with Pisces. So um, didn't get ghosted. I do get like communication here and there, very friendly. So whatever. Um, definitely energy change, but thank God. Um, me as a Virgo, I'm a little bit crazy with the overthinking, but anyways, thank you guys for all your nice messages. Um, anyways, uh, I'm here to do the overall energy between you and another person. You guys know the deal. The song that I got for you was Into You by Ariana Grande. So, is there somebody that you guys are really into? Uh, one of the lines that stuck out to me was like, been waiting for you to make a move, so make the move. So I, I don't know if that's a message you guys need, but um, I feel like there's somebody you might be really into or somebody might be really into you and there's like kind of gonna be some movement forward on that. So let's see what the overall energy between you and another person is Pisces for the month of May. Queen of Pentacles, are you guys dealing with an earth sign? A Virgo? Um, could be somebody who is like, like if it, it's just somebody who's very strong-willed, independent, it just has their shit. This person's got their shit. Even if it's, even if you're a woman watching this, like this could be just somebody who knows their worth, somebody who is kind of settled in who they are as a person, what they bring to the table. And um, they just possess this energy of receiving. Like they, they're they like somebody who just gets what they want. The tower, what? What is that about? Are you dealing with the Scorpio? Is this like somebody you're gonna meet maybe that's just gonna like spark this tower moment? It's gonna be like lightning striking. Let me get one more clarifier for that tower. The emperor. I feel like as soon as you meet this person, you're going to know you're going to move forward or you're having some kind of realization that this is the person you are wanting to move forward on. And I feel like that's who the queen of pentacles needs is that emperor, somebody to come in and be like, you know, take control of the situation because she's just sitting on her throne. So, some of you could be dealing with an Aries, some of you could be dealing with Earth sign, obviously, Scorpio, but there's definitely, like, a big, big, big energy here of fast, like, fast movement, knowing what you want, going after what you want, putting forth some work, commitment, lots of changes, lots of changes, month of May, okay? Okay. All right, Pisces, let's see personal energies. There's that eight of swords, that indecision. Um, and then the three of swords in reverse. So coming out of a disappointment, I feel like you guys are the indecisive ones. Mm, I feel like you guys are the ones in this eight of swords energy, but we'll see. Um, queen of cups. So that very well could be you or you're dealing with, you know, I feel like you're indecisive about wanting to offer somebody an apology. Offering this person this apology would help them get out of that heartbreak mode. There's the Virgo card. So you're, this person might, I feel like you feel like this person would, if you were to come asking for like a second chance from this person, I feel like you feel like you'd be rejected. Look at this hermit card. Like he's, there's that person offering and he's like turning it down. I feel like you feel like you've been you'd be rejected because this person like you kind of maybe disappointed this person in the past so there's a lot of indecision here but I do see you wanting to offer your emotions to this person you wanting to kind of come in maybe with every time I see the queen of cups in this deck it's like this little like there's a little hint of like begging or apologizing or asking for forgiveness from this woman from this like little boy. So that's why I say like you could be you could be wanting to offer your emotions to this person, but I feel like you're indecisive because you feel like they would reject you. Um 
Here's the Nine of Swords. So we're from the Eight of Swords to the Nine of Swords to the Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like you're dropping this anxiety. Something's happened that I feel like you've dropped this anxiety. Why is this Nine of Swords here? Um, conflict, the Five of Wands. So, but in this reading, you know what? I feel like you've dropped the anxiety you have around the conflict of this situation and you're kind of pushing forward. You're kind of like, you're taking that, there's a wall there, but I feel like you are trying to overcome whatever that wall is. You're trying to overcome it. Instead of being anxious about it, you're like, let me take this sledgehammer and pound through this wall. I don't know if I'm gonna break through it, but we're gonna try. Yeah, I feel like here with the Nine of Pentacles, some more earth energy, you are, I feel like you're seeing this person as somebody who's independent, somebody who's hardworking, somebody who's worth trying to knock that wall down. And then here's this Ace of Pentacles. There is a potential for a new beginning here. There is a potential here in May for this new beginning. Let's get a clarifier for that Ace of Pentacles because this could be in their energy or just how you're viewing them. Um, this person hasn't necessarily moved on from this connection here with the six of swords in reverse i feel like this person still maybe hoping for this new connection new beginning or this beginning with you um there could be um some travel happening here there could be some movement this person could be from overseas um and that could be the wall the, there could be distance involved um, but I feel like there is a potential for a new beginning here if you make this person an offer. And I feel like that's what you are contemplating about. Here with the indecision, but then you have dropped the anxiety regarding it. And you're kind of in an energy of where if there is conflict, I can solve it. So I feel like you're trying to figure out how to solve it, how to move forward. Ten of Pentacles and the High Priestess in reverse. Okay, so here with the Ten of Pentacles, you are feeling a lot more stable and grounded in the month of May. So Two of Pentacles, there's some kind of groundedness that's happening, especially in your partnerships. This could be this partnership or this could be like, you know, work. I feel like there's going to be a lot of communication coming in for you, a lot of talking about things and I feel like you're going to realize that this person is somebody you can work with. This is somebody who is grounded, is stable, is like somebody who isn't just going to dip out on you. They're not wishy-washy. This person is kind of solid. Like they're the queen of pentacles. They are a solid person. So they're not, they're somebody you can work with, somebody you can communicate. I feel like there will be a lot of communication. If there wasn't communication in the past, um, I feel like, let's see what this high priestess is here in reverse. Oops, two. So if you guys were in a state of no communication, that's going to change. I feel like this person's going through a little bit of a judgment period, like with the judgment card here. They're coming out of this some kind of enlightenment they have had some kind of enlightenment i feel like they've been listening to their intuition um this person is kind of you they are doing them right now so if you want to move forward on this i feel like there needs to be and this could be your energy remember it could always be vice versa you could be waiting for somebody to travel to towards you with an offer but i feel like this person down here is definitely doing them right now. They're trying to listen to their intuition, listen to their guides, because they do want a new beginning, whether that's with you or not. They haven't fully left the situation, so there is a potential for rebirth of whatever this is, but this person is looking for a new beginning, and they're going to get it regardless of whether it's with you or not. So it's kind of like, Yes, they would like this new beginning with you, but they are the queen of pentacles and they do know their value. They do know their worth. They do know what they bring to the table. So it's going to take an emperor to come in to um, like handle this. So I feel like the tower being here is because somebody had to go through like a big 
big moment. And it could be this person. This person could have had to like elevate from being that queen of pentacles to the emperor or somebody had to go through a tower moment to be the emperor in order to come into this queen of pentacles. So somebody's definitely building up their strength, but there is still some uh, indecision here. There's a little bit of conflict, but once the anxiety gets dropped, then um, <clears throat> then I feel like the conflict the conflict goes away. And there's some nines here with the ones and with the tens. I feel like there's like the ending of a cycle moving forward, knowing what you want. This tower moment really kind of shifted shifted in you into kind of a new phase of your life. There's been a lot of big things happening, a lot of like spiritual awakenings, and I feel like May for you guys is going to be a big, big month of like building that strength to kind of go after what you want in general, whether it's career, whether it's relationship wise, you guys are moving forward and really creating this new beginning, new grounded beginning for yourself, because there's a lot of pentacles. There's no water here, so could be very business related because there's no water here. So there's no emotions, but maybe that's what you need is to, you need groundedness. You don't want like the water. You want to see how is this going to work? <laughs> how is this going to work? How are we going to do this? And then we can talk about emotions. <laughs> so you don't want to commit emotionally to whatever you're doing until you find a solution to how to make it work is what I'm seeing. So on the extent I'm going to be doing messages from this person, actions this person is going to take, um, advice from your spirit guides, as well as what is blocking this connection. So if you're interested, I will see you over there. Click the link in the description box and make sure you scroll down and find May Extended. All right, guys, see you there.